Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a look at Photoshop's new transform capabilities when warping layers. I want to warp this photograph onto the metal, so I'll choose Edit, Transform, and then Warp. There are three different split lines that we can choose from to split our warp, or I can just hold down the Option key or the Alt key on Windows and click in the image area. Clicking and dragging on the anchor point lets me reposition it, or I can drag on the split line or on the direction point. I can also use Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows to go back in time. If I prefer, I can start with a preset grid and then just hold down the Shift key if I want to work with multiple points. I can also hold down the Shift key and drag to select multiple points at a time. Photoshop is going to draw a rectangle around those selected points. We can click and drag to scale in one direction or position the cursor over the corner points to scale in two directions, position it outside in order to rotate it, or position it inside and drag in order to reposition the whole area. To remove a split line, just select it and tap the Delete key, and to reset the warp, you can click the Reset icon. I'm going to toggle off Warp for a moment. Hold down the Option and the Shift key on Mac or the Alt and Shift key on Windows to scale this down. And then I'm going to hold down just the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and just drag the photograph and distort it so that it's a little bit larger than the corrugated metal. Then I'll toggle back on the Warp and I'll choose Custom for the grid, enter in 22 columns, and then again, holding down the Shift key, I'm just going to select every other point here because I need to select either the high points or the low points in the metal in order to create the distortion that I want. Then I'll just drag in order to reposition all of those a little bit down and to the right. I'll tap Return or Enter in order to apply that transformation and to have the photograph only appear where there's metal on the layer below I'll choose Layer and then Create Clipping Mask. 